Rescue, Data and Repair. My name is Dr. Ben. Hello, welcome to a new video. And today I just want to introduce the new I2C MC12 SK box, which you need for repair the Face ID on an iPhone or repair the DAT projector on an iPhone without even need soldering anything. Okay, let's directly go. Often it is like um, a new technique comes on the market then we just need to wait some weeks and the technique gets better. And here we have um, the proof for that because I2C developed a complete new flex cable design for their tech on flexes even on the 12 series. It's patented and only I2C has this flex cable design. What we need for this operation is an iPhone with a true depth camera system error like this. So this device has no face ID anymore with the TrueDepth camera system is an error occurred. So it needs service. Okay. What we need is the I2C 6S programmer connected to the PC and connected to Wi-Fi. And we need the I2C SK box MC12 activation device. So at uh, starting of this year, after New Year holiday in China, a lot of brands came on the market with a new repair method and it's named um, Tech on Flex repair method for the DART projector for Face ID issue on iPhone. So at first we had AYA108. It came on the market and a lot of people said, oh, we need this tool and they bought without hearing to me because I said just wait until all the other companies, all the other brands come on the market with their solution. Because if you already have an JC programmer or I2C programmer, why wasting money and buy the next programmer? Nothing against AY, Refox or any other brand. It's just my personal meaning. So if you already have something, why buying some complete new things or just wait for the, um, the manufacturers, the brands for their upcoming uh, devices. And um, often it is like um, a new technique comes on the market, then we just need to wait some weeks and the technique gets better. And here we have um, the proof for that because I2C developed a complete new flex cable design for their tech on flexes even on the 12 series. It's patented and only I2C has this flex cable design. So if we have a Miching ZH01, a Refox um, or JC or AY, whatever, the flex cables for the 12 series look like this here. Huh? Give me a second here. So. It's hard because we need to bend the cable and uh, to do a pastrami. It's pastrami. I don't know the, the technique for folding the cable. Origami. origami, origami, pastrami, origami. Yeah, you're right, Tim. So, and um, you, if you use JC, you don't need to be an origami king. It's just easy. And that is what I want to show you here in this video. Oh, sorry. If you want to use I to see that JC, JC. Did a um, JC has the V1 SE and has the V1 S Pro, and these devices are supported by the DAT matrix board. It needs, needs an external power source, 19 volt, 2 amps, like the Mijing ZH01, like the AY A108, like the, like the Refox device, like um, like on all the other devices, you need um, power consumption, 19 volt, 2 amps. So we get with high current into the flex cable to burn the MOSFET within the DART projector to activate the DART projector for a new tech on flex. Here I2C works better too because they only take 5 volt USB and go in with a lower current to destroy the MOSFET. So we don't have... Um, we don't face issues like layer burning. So that's much better um, uh, solved on the I2C SK box. And that's my personal meaning. So um, just now we just want to check out how this works and how fast can we be with that. So you need to download the I2C software on I2C123.com. Load, download the I2C tool connect your i6s programmer be sure it's on the latest firmware version you can easily update this by just clicking on that uh, tool here just 
open up the face tool and then click on connect. If you are not on the actual software, by connecting to the PC, it will automatically do an update. So we connect the I2C6 as programmer. That's pretty important for doing this operation. After that, we need to boot up the phone with the connected um, TrueDepth camera system. Then we need to connect the phone to the PC, get in the code and trust the PC. So directly connect the phone to the PC, trust the PC. If we go to the i6s section, we can see we have an iPhone 12 Pro connected and we have all the data for infrared camera, front camera, etc. Then we need to disconnect the true depth camera system, the front camera, the infrared camera and the dart projector and need to take this out. And now the magic starts. We need to connect the SK Box MC12 device with a USB-C cable to the PC. And we need to add external power source, 5 volt on USB. And we can switch to the Face ID topic of the I2C software here. So, and we need to connect the dart projector to the MC12 source and then we can click on enter recovery mode. After that, the iPhone will go to the recovery mode. The i6s is connected to Wi-Fi and works like a dongle. Okay, it works like a dongle for that what we have here. Now we can say we need to read, the, uh, we need to do a cloud, back, uh, a cloud backup for the dot projected data. So, upload it to the server and save locally. Now we are fine. We can disconnect the dot projector and we can take out this beautiful tag on flex out of the box. Just get it away here and connect it to the MC12. Connect. Now we click on cloud burning. Data burning. Data written successfully. That's pretty fine. Disconnect the tag on flex and reconnect the original dot projector and click on activation chip. Then we click on yes. So after we activated the chip, we can just starting by folding this cable and that's easy. If we compare this to the Mijing Flex, in comparison to the Mijing Flex, this would be like, oh, I need to be origami master, puppet master, whatever. But here, it's just like, and have a look. Bend one time here, and bend here, and we are done. Now we just need to connect the tag on Flex to the original dart projector. I will also show the little animation video from Access. Yeah, you can show the animation video because that's really easy and just bend it here on that point. So we are done and we can say quit recovery, goodbye. And the device will reboot now. So we can disconnect the MC12 completely disconnect the i6s everything and after that we just need to put in our dot projector <clears throat> or our true depth camera system to the phone not a problem at all so we get it in like this so i just disconnect the battery we get it in like this and we need to connect Three cables for the front camera, the infrared camera, and the dart projector. And after we did this, it's really fucking easy because it just works like a charm. The only thing you need to fold is just this and we are like original completely. So we can just get down the screen, put down the phone and it's really like original okay so i will add the shields later that's not a thing so now we just boot up the phone and let's have a look if we have face id again without soldering without 
anything. So, and Tim, we should take the time for doing this job. So, and I, I talked a lot of while I was doing that. So, if I'm fast, I need about three minutes and I have a working face ID. So, we just give in the code. We go to the settings. We say we want to go to face ID and code and we want to add a face. Let's see. Whoa! Whoa. Face ID is back, baby! Whoa. What the heck? So, this is amazing. Have a look, we can unlock the phone perfectly. It works like a charm within two, three minutes. Yeah, maximum five minutes. Yeah, so that's easy. And um, like I say, we are ambassador for JC. We are ambassador for I2C. We do a lot of videos for Mijing, for all the other brands. I love you all in China. You, you do all a great job, really, trust me. But in my opinion, the flex cable design for the tech on flexes of I2C for the 12 series is amazing. Nobody can beat this in my opinion and it's an honest opinion. I would be very happy if you would like the channel, subscribe the channel, like the video, give me a comment. What do you want to see as next in the video? I'm here for you. Dr. Ben, goodbye. Peace.